Hi everybody, it's Nani. How you doing today? I am wonderful. Wait till you guys see this haul. This is one of my best yet. These made me so happy. And the thing is, I didn't really realize it at the time when I was picking it up. It was later that I realized the price of these. You guys saw them in my thumbnail. These are the leggings. They're Capri leggings. You get one pair in here. And I didn't realize right away either, these are gold toe. Gold toe brand leggings. I only found them in the size small, medium. These are called Power Socks by Gold Toe. They are capri length, falls just below the knee. The fit sits above the waist and it says textured fabric for better coverage. The small, medium size, the weight for it is 90 pounds to 130 pounds. The height is 410 through five foot five. I'm more than 130 pounds, but I am going to try these and see if they work. You never know. If not, I'll pass them along to the smaller ladies in my life. But it was the price of these that got me. I hope you can see that. $21.99. $21.99 for these leggings. I hope I can find them. What's the other size? The other size is... MT, so it must be medium to tall. So I'm looking for that size as well, but I can't find them. They had three pair in the store that I was at. I haven't found these anywhere else. I've got all three pair. I was not going to pass these up. These will fit somebody in my life. $21.99 for these. That is crazy. They're gold toe. Christmas is coming. They just feel so nice. I don't want to take them out of the packaging because I, you know, I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet. I may try a pair for myself, but I don't want to take them out of the packaging yet. So guys, keep a lookout for these gold toe Capri leggings. I have no idea if there's other like full length. I don't know any of that. I haven't seen anybody haul these. So I'm on the lookout for more. I think it's excellent. And the thing is, even if I find them and it's a size that don't fit people in my life, I will donate them. I will just donate them because I think that is an excellent, excellent deal. Let's get the food things out of the way because I have something else to show you. Hubby really enjoys these. They are the summer sausage sticks. And let me see, what is the um, name of these? Trails Best. And they are the best by date of March of 23. It's a five ounce summer sausage. And we found these in one more store. We don't see them much anymore. So he picked up a couple. I, I'm not even sure how many, maybe three more of these. He really enjoys these. He just, you know, he'll slice them up in, in little rings and then just nibble on them for game day, whatever. They're They're very good. And this is the only flavor that we've ever seen is the summer sausage. So if you guys know if there are other flavors out there, let me know. But he enjoys these a lot. So we grabbed a couple of those. And then they had the Del Monte vegetables in the store, which they normally do. But I really backed off buying the canned vegetables in the store. We still buy the Margaret Holmes brand because I can't find that in a lot of stores. And they do have some of the flavors of Margaret Holmes in our Walmart, but some of them they don't. And we find them at the Dollar Tree, so we get them. But when the price went up, I stick with the Walmart brand, Aldi's brand of vegetables, but they had the Del Monte. I kind of sidetracked there. And these are the Harvest French, French style green beans. Never seen those in there before, so we picked up two cans and they're 14.5 ounce. Best Buy is October of 24. And then they had the Harvest Sweet Peas. And I love sweet peas. I love green beans too. But they had the sweet peas. And this is a 15, 15 ounce can. 14.5 in the French style green beans. 15 ounce in the peas. And the peas are Best Buy June of 25. June of 25, guys. Excellent shelf life on these. So we grabbed two of each. 
And on the back of the green beans, there's a recipe for skillet chicken almondine. That sounds delicious. And then on the back of the peas, they have a recipe for honey mustard peas. Hmm. And that actually sounds good. So yeah, the, the holidays are coming. Why not? You know, I'm not sure if they have those in the grocery store, Walmart, whatever, and what the price would be, but we were at the Dollar Tree, so I grabbed them. And then they had in the Halloween candy section, they had some Whoppers. I have not had Whoppers in a very, very long time, and Hubby actually grabbed these. So he must want some, some Whoppers because he usually doesn't pick up candy. And went ahead and grabbed these. I already made up the um, Halloween treat bags for all the kids, so I don't need these for those. So these will just go in the candy dish. And it is the original malted milk balls, 3.6 ounce package. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see in there, but they are all individually wrapped. Let me see if I can feel. It feels like there's three malted milk balls in each little package. So just something to something to snack on when we want a, want a piece of candy. I really like malted milk balls. They're delicious. So grab those. And then the last food item, guys, they had these, and it says limited time only. They are the Toastums pop-ups in pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice, Pop-Tarts, not Pop-Tarts, Toastums. I need to stop saying that because they are not Pop-Tarts, they're Toastums. And it says you get six in here, it's 10.1 ounce, proudly baked in the USA. So we just picked up one just to try it, see if the grandkids like these. I'm sure they probably make pumpkin spice Pop-Tart brand, but we've never tried them. So why not? Pick them up, give them a try. If you guys have tried these, let me know what you think because we've never even seen them before. Pumpkin spice is just exploding everywhere. And then they had all these sports things there. And it was, these. this is all NFL. Like the, um, they actually have the, like it's real NFL stuff. And this is the Philadelphia Eagles. We are Pennsylvania people. We are actually Steelers fans, but we have a family member who is a Philadelphia Eagles fan. So we picked this up. We They also had these little, um, it's like a shelf sitter, but it also has the thing on the back that you can hang it on the wall. It's like a um, like shadow box. And it is also, it look kind of looks like a ticket. It says, admit one, lifetime membership, and it's for the Eagles. Thought that was really, really cool. So grab that. And then they had the door to put over your door, the doorknob. And it is says, only Eagles fans can enter. So we got one of each of those for him. And they all have the, um, the little shiny that, shows that it is a true NFL a trademarked product. I'm not sure registered product. What does it say here? Made exclusively for marketing results, LTD, Columbus, Ohio. But it says made in China, Eagles item. And they also had, they had the Eagles. So we picked up all of that. And then what was the other one? The Dallas Cowboys is what we saw. So grab those. Nice little Christmas gift stocking stuffers. If you have sports fans in your life, and these were all going on an end cap. So if you're looking for this type of thing, check on your end caps. Didn't have any Steelers stuff though. We did pick up Steelers magnets here a while back, but didn't see any of the rest of this stuff. Or did we see, we maybe saw one, a type, some type of wall hanging in the Steelers. I think so, but not this time. So they have, I think I showed it in one of my last hauls recently, they have all the gloves out. And I picked up a bunch for the kids and one pack for myself. But I saw these and thought they looked really nice for me. These are for me. I may pass some of these on to the older girls. But these are by the, the Juncture brand. These are all women's is what they say. They had this really pretty burgundy color. And I liked the cuff on these. It kind of has that chenille, I guess, I think that's what you call it, look to it. But these are kind of like those thinner gloves, which I love. These work excellent for me. I have them, like I said, in every coat pocket that I own, and they're, but they're all getting 
well worn. They've been washed a thousand times and they just, they need to go. And it's time for me to get some nice, pretty gloves. So I picked up one of every color that I saw. They, like I said, they had the pretty burgundy. They have this creamy white color also with the pretty cuff and they had black. So I don't know if there are other colors out there or not, but those are the ones that I grabbed because I actually have coats, one in every color. They're just nice and I like these, these gloves. They're just a nice weight for me. They're not, they're not super heavy. I have it on wrong. You know, they're not super, super heavy and bulky and they're just, they keep your hands warm. They do the job. And if they get lost, they're only $1.25. So think about these for stocking stuffers, guys. If you donate now at the holiday time, if you donate to any of your local homeless shelters or women's women's shelters or whatever it may be, start picking things up now to donate. It's It's a good thing. It makes your heart happy. And then they had all of these funky little hair clips. And I thought the girls would get a kick out of these. They're more like, it reminds me of like 4th of July type thing, the red, white, and blue. But you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different clips on here. And they are all so nice. This one has rhinestones the whole way across it. And this one has some shimmer. And this one has the blue bling. Just really pretty little hair clips. So I've just picked up one of these. I didn't see any other style combinations, but this one, and I was looking to see if maybe there was a price on it, but I cannot see a price. What does it say? Freedom, oh my stars, stripes, and these are by Riviera. And one of you actually told me to keep a lookout for the Riviera stuff, and you're gonna see why here in a second, because I found this, but there's no price but I couldn't pass it up. And then they had this. This was the only one I saw, just this one little pouch, laying randomly on, on a shelf. And it is all in gold, it's a little zipper pouch. I don't know if I can open it. No, it's hooked in there, so I can't unzip it. And it has three little of the um, these spiral ponytail holders. It has a bunch of bobby pins. Let me see if I can count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight little bobby pins. They're like the chevron shape. And then it has one, two, three, three of the little metal hair clips, little claws. The price on this, guys, was $12. I hope you can see that. I hope it's not blurry. $12 for that. I think I did extremely well with this haul. This was $12. These were $21.99 a piece. And I got three of them. Probably can't hold them all at one time. So $22 times three is 66 plus 12 is what? 70, what is it guys? You guys figure it out. I can't think that like that. Now I need to. You guys know I need to. They're really $22 a piece, so that's $66 plus $12 is $78 worth of products right here. Crazy. That just blows my mind. And who knows what this little pack of barrettes cost. It's by Riviera's, Riviera as well, but there's no price on it. I love the Dollar Tree. You just never know what you're going to find. And this time of the year, when you can pick up these type of things, put it aside for your kids, your grandkids to donate. That's just amazing. You know, awesome things you can find in the Dollar Tree. It's a treasure hunt. You know, you have to, you have to check them out, look around. You never know what you're going to find on random shelves. Just... It's worth it. I love it. And I love the hunt. It's fun for me. And, and hubby even enjoys it too. So we have a good time when we go out to the Dollar Tree looking around. So if you guys like this type of thing, please subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of my YouTube family. You guys mean the world to me. Have a great day, everybody. And I'll talk to you again here really soon. Peace.